Elder Joseph F. Smith said that he knew Mormonism, so-called, to be the power of God unto salvation, and that peace and blessings resulted from an application to the matters of everyday life, of the principles incorporated in the gospel. Those who lived in accordance with the spirit and genius of the gospel were not likely to have quarrels in their families or with their neighbors, and were never mixed to any great extent in teachers, bishops, or high council trials. The practice of the principles of truth brings peace, harmony, and goodwill. These are the results which flow from a course of this kind in this life, and the same effects will follow in any sphere of existence. The gospel teaches its disciples to love their neighbors as themselves, and to do good to all. Independent of all other considerations, good actions brought their reward of themselves. But how much was the happiness of righteous men or women increased by the additional satisfaction of knowing that in doing good they were carrying out the direct commandments of God? No principle had ever been revealed from the Almighty through his servants Joseph or Brigham, but it was designed for the salvation of mankind. He spoke of the principle of patriarchal marriage, showing the great amount of wisdom necessary to be exercised in that order. It required people to be righteous, to carry out that system in purity and holiness. Those who entered into its practice for the gratification of lustful desires would be damned. The speaker testified to the blessings of union and peace that God had conferred upon him in his family in this order. It was the rule also that those brethren who righteously obeyed this principle, instead of becoming any poorer temporally, were generally prospered and increased in this direction. He continued to speak on the subject for some time, showing that the acts of men in abusing the practice of this principle had proved stumbling blocks to some of the people. It was absolutely necessary that those who adopted this order of marriage should do so with a determination to govern themselves, that they might be in a position to lead and govern others in righteousness. The speaker exhorted all to not only refrain from evil practices that were becoming so common in this city, such as drinking, swearing, smoking, etc., but also to use their influence in checking these things in others.